Hello, I'm joined today by Professor Bryce Barker, a professor in anthropology and archaeology in the Faculty of Arts at the University of Southern Queensland. Hi Bryce, how are you? Hi Anna. That's good. Um, now today we're going to be looking at what is meant by culture because the students will be looking at culture in this particular module and, and looking at a range of factors surrounding culture. So first of all I wanted to ask you what is culture? Well the anthropological definition of culture is really the, the, the things that, um, that humans um, have I suppose that, that distinguish them from other groups of people. So cultural practices like religion, uh, languages, these are all cultural things, Bas basically non-biological aspects of, of human behaviour um, make up culture. Uh, and culture is a, a, an adaptive mechanism. Um, humans use culture to uh, adapt to changes that occur, um, perhaps environmental or what have you. So culture is that mechanism that allows uh, humans to uh, make changes to how they behave and changes to their society. Okay, oh yeah. that's a really good overview of culture there. So how then does culture influence the ideas and values, beliefs and behaviours of a society? Well cultures, you know, are basically, um, you determine I suppose what kind of say kinship system you're going to have or what kind of uh, religious system you're going to have. Um, these are all culturally defined. Okay, so each group basically um, will will have a, a a different kind of definition and practice in relation to all these kinds of things, and this is what brings about cultural differences. Okay, that people make decisions. Those decisions about difference. Uh, you might have a different religious belief, different languages, different uh, subsistence base. Um, these are the kinds of things that uh, um, groups. Uh, Oh, they're different in different groups because of particular places where they live, for example. So, you know, they're, they use culture to adapt to living in different environments. Um, so if you're an Inuit person living in the Arctic, um, your, your belief system is probably going to revolve around aspects of snow in the environment yeah. um, or perhaps the animals that you hunt. Okay? And so to some extent, uh, culture can be determined or defined by where you actually live, um, not exclusively, but quite often that, that is one of the reasons why you get cultural difference. Right, okay. And so you've done field research in some um, quite remote locations, um, particularly in Papua New Guinea. How have you managed with that cross-cultural communication aspect? Yeah, it can be difficult, but I mean, part of your anthropological training is, is that you, um, you understand cultural difference and one of the things about anthropology is that you, um, you, you don't make value judgments about other cultures and other cultural practices, that you accept them as being valid, um, that they are cultural practices that allow those people to live in their environment and therefore they are successful. So they might be very different and sometimes challenging to your own, to, in regards to your own culture, your own cultural practices. Um, however, they are successful. They're different, but they are successful. They work for those people in those particular environments. So as long as you have that kind of uh, understanding um, and, and you don't uh, you know, make value judgments based on your own culture, um, look, there's no problem at all. Um, and you know, when it comes down to it, we're all human and you know, there are commonalities that transcend culture um, that I always find this. Yeah. Um, and uh, it, it's the basis for you know maintaining long-term relationships with some of these communities. Mm -hmm. Okay, well thank you for that. I, I'm quite sure you've given the students a lot to think about. I mean they're looking at the Asia-Pacific region so there's a really diverse range of cultural groupings throughout that region so it will really be uh, I mean, they're only limited by their own access to resources in terms of the types of cultural uh, information and literacies that they'll get by their examinations this week. So thank you for that. You're welcome. Thanks.